was uh, prepared by James White and Erica Dawson Davies from Welsh Government, and I think Erica is here to present it. And it's all about the National Forest for Wales. Over to you, Erica. Good everybody. Thank you so much for inviting um, us here today to talk about the National Forest, and thank you to Jerry for for introducing us so well. So, um, I, just to start, there's a short video um, in Welsh and then in English. So, I'd just like you to watch this, and then then we'll, we'll talk about the National Forest. Thank you. Ano rhywbeth hidolus am goedwig. Fel un, gyda natur, maen nhw'n dda i'r ennaid. Dyn ni ddim yn teimlo yn unig nag ar goll, ond yn gysylltiedig. Yn gysylltiedig gan gwreiddiau Celtaidd a chwedlau o'r mabinogi. Mae coedwigoedd yn cyfoethogi ein bywydau mewn cymaint o ffyrdd. Bydd coedwig genedlaethol Cymru yn cysylltu ein coetiroedd hynafol a newydd yn dod â diwylliant ein gorffennol a'n presennol i fywyd i ddathlu Cymru fel gwlad wedi ei chyfoethogi gan ein coetiroedd. Dim planu coedwig ydy'r cynllun, ond planu syniad a'i wylio'n tyfu dros genedlaethau. Mae'n syniad fydd yn siapio ein gwytnwch fel cenedl yn y dyfodol, yn creu cryfder drwy gydbwysedd ac yn dylanwadu ein hamgylchedd, ein cynefin a'n bywydau, yn ddiwylliannol, yn economaidd ac yn gynaliadwy. Yn cynhyrchu ffyniant masnachol trwy greu ymwelwyr, diwydiant a swyddi. Byddwn yn adfer, gwella a chreu coetiroedd a chynefinoedd mewn ffordd gysylltiedig ar hyd a lled Cymru. Wrth gymryd yr agwedd, y goeden iawn yn y lle iawn, ochr yn ochr, a safonau a chanllawiau coedwigaeth y deyrnas unedig, bydd ein coedwig genedlaethol yn sefydlu tirweddau a chynefinoedd cryf, cynaliadwy, wedi gwreiddio'n gadarn i ymddiffyn ein gwlad mewn nifer a ffyrdd o effeithiau newid yr hinsawdd i lifogydd. Mae ein coedwig genedlaethol yn ymwneud â mwy na choed yn unig. Mae'n ymwneud â chwarae rhan mewn tyfu a rhannu Cymru mewn dyfodol sy'n ddiw ac yn ffynu am genedlaethau i ddod. Eich coedwig genedlaethol chi ydy hon. Byddwch yn rhan o honi. something magical about forests. At one with nature, they're good for our soul. We feel not alone, not lost, but connected. Connected to our Celtic past and tales from the Mabinogion. Forests enrich our lives in so many ways. The National Forest for Wales will connect our ancient and the woodlands bringing our past and present culture to life, celebrating Wales as a land enriched by our woodlands. The plan isn't simply to plant a forest, it's to plant an idea and watch it grow for generations. It's an idea that will shape our future resilience as a nation, creating strength through balance and influencing our environment, our habitats and our lives, culturally, economically and sustainably. It will generate commercial prosperity by creating visitors, industry and jobs. We will restore, enhance and create woodlands and habitats in a connected way across the length and breadth of Wales. Taking a right tree, right place approach alongside UK forestry standards and guidelines, our national forest will establish strong, sustainable landscapes and habitats, firmly rooted to protect our country in a number of ways from climate change effects to flooding. Our national forest is about more than just trees. It's about playing a part in growing and sharing a future Wales that's alive and thriving for generations to come. This is your national forest. Be part of it. Thank 
you. Um, it's a hard act to follow, <laughs> to follow Yolo Williams. Um, but that was just a, a really brief introduction into the, the vision and the, and the ethos behind the National Forest. Uh, we have a, a short presentation now. Um, I will be going through it quite quickly. So if, if you have questions, please post them in the chat bar um, on the side. And um, we do have a, a Q&A session at the end, so we can pick some of them up there. So the, the National Forest in Wales, um, Mark, the First Minister Mark Drakeford announced his intention to develop the National Forest in his manifesto since in 2018. Um, on the 12th of March this year, the week before lockdown, we launched the program um, at the Woodland Trust site at Burnai, um, down in Neath. Um, and this is the ambition and, and the vision for the National Forest. It extends the length and breadth of Wales, uh, can provide many opportunities by planting, growing and protecting trees, contribu contributing to decarbonisation goals and the climate change emergency, halting the decline of biodiversity, improve health and well-being of people and supporting commercial business activity such as timber production and recreation and tourism. So it has a big remit. It does have a big agenda um, and we do have big ambitions for it, which I think we need to have. Um, so uh, what is the National Forest? Um, we've looked at this on four different levels. So from a local level, it's woodlands for people, nature, and commercial opportunities. It's new and existing woodlands in urban and rural locations in public and private ownership. On a regional basis, spread across Wales, we're using an outcome-based approach rather than a geographic spatial place, if you like. It's, it's based on outcomes, and I'll talk a bit more about them in a minute. On the national level, it's an umbrella. It's a catalyst for woodland creation and better management um, of existing woodlands and potentially encompasses woodlands if they meet the outcome. It's a long-term program. Um, you always, I always say you can't rush a tree. It can't be rushed, and it really does need to be um, long-term and multi-generational. And it's similar to the, the thought behind the Wales Coast Path. On a global level, it's a brand and it's an asset for Wales. It's a tourist destination, and it can be used to, uh, as a carbon sink, as Jerry's already spoken about earlier, and supporting Wales meet its UK C, triple C target. So it's got a lot of things to offer um, and it can be used in lots of different ways. This year, we were lucky uh, to gain a budget for this year and we started looking at how and, and um, the mechanisms we could deliver the National Forest. So we've, we've looked at some demonstrator pilots. There's the Community Woodlands Grant, which some of you may already be aware of, um, which is run in collaboration with the National Lottery Heritage Fund. Um, and all the information on that is on their site. And that's for community woodlands, for enhancement and um, creation of new community woodlands. There's the Forest Industry Recovery Scheme, which has just closed. And that's to help support the forest industries in nurseries um, and helping with infrastructure grants there. That's just closed. That's been incredibly successful. Um, we're also working with Natural Resources Wales on creating new woodlands and restoring existing woodland sites. So we have quite a lot of work going on with them at the moment on that. And then we're working with Keep Wales Tidy on the tiny forest and eco schools programmes, looking at five different tiny forest sites across Wales and working with schools in each local authority area, um, looking on planting on school sites. So that's what's been happening this year. We've also developed the brand, which you will have seen at the end of the video um, with Yolo. Um, um, really super piece of work. Um, we went out to stakeholders. We've tested this with um, various different groups. Uh, the branding agency um, has done really well in summing up the National Forest and everything it means. So they've developed a whole set of um, suite of assets that we can use at, to designate the National Forest for Wales. So the outcomes um, I mentioned earlier in the presentation, what we're looking at is outcomes, um, a based approach, as I said, we're looking at connectivity of, of the forest from north to south, uh, east to west. Um, we're starting with these. Uh, please let us know your comments on these at the moment. So we have connected woodlands, we have dynamic multi-purpose woodlands and trees, 
We have woodlands that demonstrate learning, research and innovation, community involvement in woodlands, woodlands that are accessible to people and good quality, well managed and designed resilient woodlands. The outcomes um, have been developed working with our woodland strategic advisory panel with their task and finish group. Um, they came up with the six because they feel they could encompass mostly everything and the ambition that we wanted to, to look at with the National Forest. So good quality, well designed and managed resilient woodlands. Um, it's essential we enhance our existing woodlands and accelerate the rate of tree planting in Wales in both rural and urban locations. Uh, if we're to meet the challenges of the climate change and also the decline in biodiversity, um, which I'll say more about in the next outcome, we need to plant trees and manage them well um, to provide opportunities to mitigate climate change through carbon sequestration, as Jerry's already mentioned, and help us to adapt to a changing climate. We've in included the resilience um, aspect as well, as it'd be important to ensure that woodlands we enhance and create are future-proofed and that investment that we make now and in the coming years will be future proofed to, to climate changes um, and help to adapt to those. The connected woodlands outcome is essential if we're to play an important role in supporting diversity in Wales, particularly in the face of climate change. We need to create a more mixed woodland, a more of a mosaic effect and expand the existing woodlands we have and this is where the National Forest will start to link these things together over time will become a, a matrix effect across the whole of Wales. We can bring um, existing woodlands back into management and look for opportunities to connect woodlands together over time. If we maximise the area of woodland habitat available, um, we can connect the fragmented woodlands and trees and allow species to migrate and support ecological resist resilience. Um, which is important as well during the changing climate. So we're keen that as existing woodlands are enhanced and new woodlands are created, the connectivity between woodlands is taken into account. We appreciate this won't all, always be possible or feasible, but it should become easier as Wales becomes a more wooded uh, nation. Woodlands accessible to people. We know woodlands um, provide a wide range of benefits to people, including people's health and well-being, supporting community development, creating employment, supporting employment and providing learning opportunities. The National Forest will need to be accessible to enable and encourage diversity of people with different accessibility needs and issues to use those woodlands. So community involvement in woodlands, we want to use the National Forest to help communities to re-engage with nature so that more people are engaging with nature. This is particularly important in urban areas um, and where there's not as many green spaces and there's lack of opportunity to access those green spaces. So we would like to see local communities involved in developing plans for restoring and creating woodlands in their local areas, building on the work that's already been undertaken through area statements um, and making sure that that's now put into practice. And Dynamic multi-purpose woodlands and trees. As we said, we, we would like um, to maximise the economic, social and environmental benefits that can be delivered through woodland, um, having a creation of multi-purpose sites, so multi-level benefit sites. Um, this can range from all sorts of things, from, from community woodlands through to, to timber production. And the last one is woodlands that demonstrate learning, research and innovation. So the National Forest sites should demonstrate what can be, can be achieved with multi-purpose woodlands, new ways of doing things, innovative ways of doing things will be looked at and we can build on the good things that are already happening. We're not starting from scratch with the National Forest, there's, there's an amazing array of um, work that's already happening out there. So it's building on everything that we've already got. So that, that's the outcomes in a snapshot and I apologise that I've whistled through those quite quickly. So to start this year, um, we've been working with Nat Natural Resources Wales to look at woodlands on the Welsh Government Woodland Estate and to actually identify within those woodlands what could be seen as the example of sites, as the first site for the National Forest. Now these sites that you see on this map, they may not display all of those outcomes all in one site, some do, some don't, 
but they're examples of what we would expect to see moving forward. This map will grow. This is the beginning. This is um, to demonstrate what we're aiming for. Um, and as I say, we will absolutely be adding to this as, as we go on over the years. But this is a really good starting point. And there's examples there of all the different types of woodland. So um, that was launched last, not last week, week before at Wales Climbing, uh, Climate Week. So um, there, that's where we are with the National Forest. Moving forward next year, we will have a consultation phase where we'll be coming out to all our stakeholders and everybody to talk about what the expectations of the National Forest are, how it's going to be delivered and looking at the longer term programme and the longer term strategy for the National Forest. So I hope that's um, given you a, a real snapshot and a flavour of the National Forest. There's just a couple of animations to play now. Um, uh, just to just to finish off this and, and then we're open for questions so if we can play the animation Yng Nghymru, mae gennym gynlluniau uchel geisiol i greu coedwig genedlaethol a fydd yn rhedeg ar ledled o wlad trwy ecosystem gysylltiedig o goetiroedd hynafol a rhai newydd Bydd y goedwig genedlaethol i Gymru yn perthyn i bob un ohonom, ac o fydd un i gyd. Ein un ni fydd hi i'w chreu, ein un ni fydd hi i'w meithrin, ein un ni fydd hi i'w choleddu am flynyddoedd i ddod. Bydd yn amddiffyn ein gwlad ac yn rhoi ffordd fwy cynaliadwy o fyw a gyfer cenedlaethau'r dyfodol. Dyma'ch coedwig genedlaethol, byddwch yn rhan ohono. In Wales, we have ambitious plans to create a national forest which will run the length and breadth of the country through a connected ecosystem of ancient and new woodlands. The National Forest for Wales will belong to and benefit us all. It will be ours to create. It will be ours to cultivate. It will be ours to cherish for years to come. It will protect our country and provide a more sustainable way of life for our future generations. This is your national forest. Be part of it.